What's poppin' gang? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to mix and master rap vocals using hardware. Now today I got a Neve 1073, the hardware version. A lot of people like using the plug-in version, but how unuser friendly this is when mixing rap vocals, but but there are some really good sides to it. I'm 30 Killer Beats, and go ahead and hit the like button if you want more videos like this. And let me know in the comments what other videos you wanna see on this channel. So let's go ahead and get started. I got a session right here pulled up, and I mixed and mastered this song, along with like making the beat, and I also recorded the vocals and all that stuff blah 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 yes sir so i did all that and i want to just get the sound from the Neve 1073 when i made this song i did not have the real Neve 1073 i recorded with the plug-in but i want the harmonics of the hardware in my vocals and let's just see if it's even worth doing this or not so when you have hardware like this you have to plug a line out from your interface into the line in on the hardware. Now I have an Apollo Twin X and they have a line out for this so you can do that, but they don't have a way for me to plug it back in uh, unless using the line one point from the interface so and the only way to plug it in from the hardware back into the interface is either through your line one input or if you have other inputs make sure you line it in with that same input with the output so if you're using line three on the output make sure you plug it in through line three if you want to use this as like a plug-in i don't have a line three input all i got is one and two so we're just gonna plug it into one and get the sound from the hardware and bring it back into the computer and let's just see if it's even worth doing this and you're gonna see why people have made plug and how time consuming this really is, but you'll see the result without using the hardware. Welcome this morning to new money. You gotta celebrate. I gotta clean up my surface. I gotta elevate. Roll out the bed to the moolah. Vivious in my air, in my jeweler. Smoking on weed just to feel better. And then my coke got a beret. Okay, it sounds good. I like everything the way how it sounds, but. Man, the, this hardware I already know how good it sounds as far as like, you know, recording into it. But let's just see how does it sound when you actually take the sound that's already done and bring it into the hardware and then bring it back into the computer. In this case, we're using Pro Tools. You can use whatever DAW you're using. All right, so the first thing you want to do to go ahead and uh, make sure this is going to work, you got to make sure that you got your cables and all that fixed and plugged in right. And then you want to go ahead and make a new track. When you're making a new track, make sure that it's mono. All right, so what you want to do now is you want to make sure you highlight your track that you want to use the hardware on so what we're going to do is highlight the track this is the one we're going to use right here and then hold down alt and drag it onto the new track that you just created doing that you can duplicate the track so we're going to keep this track for later you know what i'm saying just to like maybe a b it here and there so we're just going to mute it okay so we're starting off with the hook and this is the raw vocals no effects no nothing it's not going through any channels it's not going through nothing and let's just hear and see what it sounds like and see like what does it need? How can we, you know what I'm saying? Does it need some boost in the low end? Is the highs too much? Do we need to turn it down? So let's just hear it real quick. Welcome this morning to new money. You gotta celebrate. I gotta clean up my circle. I gotta elevate. Okay, so just hearing from that, I think what we need to do is turn, maybe turn up the highs a little bit, maybe add some presence to the vocal, and then maybe take a little bit of mud out, and I think we should be fine with that. So what we have to do, we have to re-record that vocal track that we just duplicated into the hardware so we can get the hardware sound effects and everything that's coming out the hardware to get a real Neve 1073 sound. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump over to my phone. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna actually record the hardware side so we can see exactly how to do this so the my voice might actually switch to the the phone microphone so you know i gotta actually change the settings i'm actually using the need 1073 so you can hear me earlier but now i have to change the settings okay so the first thing you want to do to get the sound into the hardware is you have to go ahead and actually turn your phantom power off. You don't need it, so we're gonna turn that off. And then the next thing that we have to do, we have to make sure that this is on the line. The, this is the line section. Over here is the microphone section. You know what I'm saying? When you use a microphone, you wanna make sure the volume is on this side. And this is where the microphone will go, you know, if you're using a microphone, but we're using a line in to get the sound from the computer. So this is like the off position right here. So when you turn the line into this side now you're getting the sound from the, the computer if you have it all set plugged in right the higher you raise this the higher your vocal will be if from the computer personally i think it's best because i've tried this to actually go up like two notches so right now it's in the off position so let's go up two notches one two and then boom so now that's a good level for re-recording -re vocals and like i said earlier maybe a little bit of top end that it needed and then maybe some presence boost 
Say like if I want to boost, give it more presence, I want to boost around a thousand hertz. So it, this 1.6 is a thousand and six hundred hertz, and boom. So that's a good vote. That's a good level right there. Let's boost that a little bit. Give it some more presence. You're basically doing this just by like ear. You can't really hear it while you're mixing it. You just have to like guess. With plugins, it's so much easier. But with hardware, it actually takes a lot more work. So I said that we needed to take some of the mids out. So maybe around 200 hertz. Uh, that is a good area to take out mud and we're just going to dial this down a bit and let's go ahead and record it also you want to make sure your levels are not too high i like to actually point this little line towards the seven <laughs> on 176 so I actually trying to kind of like the angle the line to where it matches that number or, or actually points at that number and then at the bottom here you'll see like let me go ahead and play the vocals welcome this morning to new money you gotta celebrate i gotta clean up my surf i gotta elevate Roll out a bit to the so the vocals are actually playing right now and you can see like exactly where it is on this hardware i want it to hit zero you know what i'm saying if it hits zero i feel like that's a really good number like on the hardware you don't want to go too too much over you know what I'm saying it's okay if it occasionally goes over a little bit to like fit plus five you don't want to go into much further than that so what we're going to have to do is we're going to actually have to turn that vocal up because as you can see it was not hitting zero so let's turn that vocal up as much as we can so we can get that vocal hitting zero so i'm going to go ahead and play it. i just turned it up and let's just see what level is it hitting on the actual hardware welcome this morning to new money you gotta celebrate i gotta clean up my surf i gotta elevate roll out a bet to the moolah Okay, so because of those levels, I feel like we need to come up a little bit more. So let's just go back on the heart over here and turn up the vocal and then come back down here. You see how tedious this is, but hey, man. <laughs> All right, so I turned it up and now let's hear it. I got to clean up my surf. I got to elevate. Roll out a bed to the moolah. Vivius in my egg and my jeweler. Smoking on weed just to feel better. I know my coat got a beret. Okay, so now we're getting ready to record the vocal. Also, what we have is, is going through channel one on the interface. So, you know what I'm saying? Why not just throw in a universal audio plugin on the recording track? And the one of choice that we're gonna use is the, the Tube Tech. And that's already a legendary setup. I need 1073 and a Tube Tech compressor. You know, of course, if I had a real hardware in Tube Tech, I would use that, but you know, we're using the plugin. So why not just go ahead and use this? And let's see what we got, man. Let's, let's go ahead and plug in a preset. And the crazy thing about this, you know, you just kind of kind of know how this thing sounds already. You kind of just know how to like put the settings before you record because you don't know exactly how it sounds. You know what I'm saying? You can't hear it. All right, so I'm having that a three to one ratio. And then um, let's go ahead and move the attack up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and uh, get a fast release. So I can't really hear exactly how this is going to sound until after I record the vocals. So again, super, super tedious, but this is what happens when you want to record out of hardware. And uh, so let's see here. This is um, the channel that everything is going to come through, but let's go ahead and just turn this all the way to the left to get the full vocal because we're only using line three as an output. So you're only getting one half of the signal. You know what I'm saying? So you, when you have a line three and four, you know, you have your actual sound coming out and it's like left and right kind of almost. So um, we can only get one sound out. So let's go ahead and just move it all to the left side because we're using line three and that's normally left and then boom i think we're all good here to go and let's just play it just to check the levels welcome this morning to new money you gotta celebrate i gotta clean up my surf i gotta elevate roll out a bed to the moment give you some my egg and my jeweler smoking on weed let's go ahead and give it some more game my coke got a beret two for the moon and half for the stars we're taking a long way we up in the air shooting off from y'all say the digital money deposit taking up in this bitch like a rocket all right so now let's go ahead and record it everything is good to go so let's go ahead and record it now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and go right click on the track and then go to new and then you want to create another track you know what i'm saying so you got to create another one with that track that we just created we're going to actually record the sound into a new track you know what i'm saying so now you have the raw this is the track the raw track with no effects on it so the next thing that we're going to do is record all the hardware and everything that we have uh with the vocal on it into the new track so everything we did to it with the hardware and everything is going to be recorded into the track so you want to make sure that 
there's only one sound playing at one time and it's got to be the sound that you're re-recording so let's re-record that Welcome this morning to new money you gotta celebrate i gotta clean up my surf i gotta elevate roll it up back to the motor let me get some my egg and my jewelry all right all right so now we have the new re-recorded track with hardware effects on it okay so now we have that recorded so the next thing that we have to do is actually replace the new re-recorded track with the hardware and everything put into it and then put that onto the main track i'm actually going to save this and just move it out the way after you know muting it of course let's go ahead and move the new recorded track and now let's just go ahead and play it Welcome this morning to new money you gotta celebrate i gotta clean up my surf i gotta elevate roll out of bed to the moon vivious in my egg and my jello smoking on weed just to feel better and then my coke got a beret and that is what it sounds like let me know if you guys noticed the difference or not you know what i'm saying did you feel like it was it's even worth to even do that it actually takes longer to mix when you're mixing with hardware because you have to guess by ear and then oh wait it actually can use this and you gotta actually change that all right gangs so, um i honestly think the hardware sounded better than this the plug-in the hardware just sounded a little bit more solid like there was something physically there you know what i'm saying versus like the plug-in kind of mixing in with the, the the music a little bit you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong the plug-in is still really good and i would still highly suggest it but if you have the plug-in you're it's just gonna sound so much better but the workflow to get that sound is going to be much more harder it just takes a little bit more time but if you're willing to just work for it and get that sound you definitely get a high quality vocal just gotta work for it man um let me know if you want your vocals mixed through the hardware i will mix your songs there'll be a link in the description we can get set up just go ahead and send me the session i got you bro don't even think about mix mixing and you don't especially if you don't really want to but i got you bro i'll mix your stuff if you if, if you want me to you know what i'm saying uh hopefully you guys stay safe and remember it's only a matter of time peace